O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. And, you know, we missed the bullet here. We had a, power, we had a surge in water. Those poor people further up the Gulf, though. I'm telling you, these, these hurricanes are dangerous situations, but I mean, send some white lights and prayers up the Gulf because uh, this was quite a cut of storm, no doubt. You have the power to create. Your power is so strong that whatever you believe comes true. You are that way because that is what you believe about yourself. Your whole reality, everything you believe is your creation. I love this one. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 46, NASDAQ up 81, SP's up 19. Gold, gold contract up $6.50, trading at 1971 an ounce. You get silver down 11 cents, 25 dollars 2 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up 44 cents, trading at 81.60. Notes and bonds, a 10 year note up one tick, trading 110.12. The 30 year up two ticks at 121.05 and king dollar. King dollar down 362 ticks, trading at 103.170. The euro at 109. The yen trading out here at 146. And the British pound at 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we had a, we had a wide price spread yesterday. You had an expansion of volume. You got a contraction of volume today, but guess what? You've already hit the lows of the high. The lows of the high is 451.55. We're already uh, hit uh, 451.67. This is going to go to the highs. We'll see what's going to spike the highs. We'll see what's going to do up there. We go take that's in the, that's in the spy. We go to the NDX 100, the Qs, same type of setup in the Qs, and the Qs were not quite the the my benchmark in the Qs is not the high. Well, that's going to the high, but what I'm talking about here is that the low of the high, well, the day afterwards, okay, is 375.72. Now, we, we went into that like nothing, okay, today. The same type of setup. Yesterday, you had expansion of volume. Today, you get a contraction of volume. That being said, once you're into that bar, guess what? The high is the game once again. So the 377.08 right now, 377.44, you've gone to bottom line, it's going to go to the highs. You have Labor Day, you have window dressing, bottom line, and you have markets that are almost at the highs, okay? So there's going to be folks that, you know, bottom line said, oh, no, here we go again, okay? And, bottom, you know, and this retracement, by the way, folks, okay, when you take a look at this whole retracement, it was a very shallow retracement, actually, you know, of the whole move that started in March. Because when you take a look at this, you're going to see it was about a 0.382. It wasn't even a 0.382. So the bottom line is that, yeah, this is about the most deviant thing the market can do, but that's what I expect. Now, why? Okay, so why is it this? We take a look at the note and bond market. You're going to see that the 10-year right now is yielding 4.1. We're at 4.3 last week, okay? So this is heading down. We had a sign of strength yesterday. What we did was that we broke the downtrend yesterday with conviction. So that's saying the 10-year wants to go to this 113.06, and we're at 110.12. So if we get up to 113.06, you're going to see that 10-year down at about 3.5, okay? And we had the high of 4.3. So that's a whole different animal than what we've been dealing with. And then, of course, we got to get, well, here, we'll do gold next, because we have gold contract had tested its lows of March, did it with light volume, came off those lows, had two separate signs of strength. One was yesterday and one was last week. Right now, gold's trading in 1971. You get 2028. That's the next move up there. And you can see that's also a break with conviction, big time. And we're, now this is where it's real. Well, you take the note and bonds. The note and bonds are what it's about. That's my, that's, I mean, the note, bonds, and, and the dollar. And you can see the dollar. 
So with the dollars down here, it says, this is what I was looking for, yes, today, for today, yesterday. Because yesterday we broke the downtrend, but I wanted to see a break with conviction. And that's what we got. What, what conviction means is you have wide price spread on the break. And what you have here is this. The dollar had been trying to take out the swing point from last May. That swing point was 104.699. Well, what we did, we got to 104.447. And when you come that close and can't handle it, it's pretty intense, particularly because we had three days in a row with bearish setups. And each day, it said, the heck with being a bear, I'm going to go up and try to hit it again, and hit it again, and hit it again, and it couldn't do it. And then guess what? Then it gives it up in spades in two days, OK? It gave up uh, 5, 10, let's get this, maybe, one sec. There's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, in two days it gave up eleven days. That that's <laughs> that we know that's what happens in down markets. Bottom line, what that tells me, the good old dollar now is on the way down to the lower end of this consolidation, which is ninety nine ninety one. Now, if that's where we go, what you're going to see is this. Picture this: rates are going up, the dollar is going up. And the market really, you know, pulled back, but not pulled back that bad. So you can imagine with the dollar pulling back and rates coming down, what you're going to have. That, that is like taking the bubble. The, it's releasing the bubble. Why? Because the dollar runs the market, folks, okay? Now, you've heard me say this many times. Yes, you'll have higher price, but you always got to remember what can you buy with it. Well, our dollar will be worth less because the dollar wants to go down. But we're going to have higher numbers inside of the marketplace. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We go to the NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX and see what the strength versus the weakness. You get Sirius Satellite at 5.8%. Pendor Duo is up 5%. Dexcom is up 3.5%. Intuitive Surgical is up 2.7%. Taken away from it. Charter Communications down 2.3%. Airbnb off 1.6%. JD.com off 1.4%. And... Inside the Dow Industrials, the strength, the point strength out here today, we have Apple putting 22 positive points, Salesforce 18, Caterpillar 15, Home Depot 14. Take it away from it. Goldman minus 26, Amgen minus 12. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.